it's Michelle and today we're doing a bead charm for Valentine's Day. It's going to be a flower in a vase. I thought that would be really really cute for Valentine's Day. And I'm excited about this bead charm. I think it's adorable. Okay to build our flower vase here's what we're going to be needing. First of all we've got a 6 by 8 millimeter bell flower bead, a smaller 4 by 6 millimeter bell flower, and an 8 by 12 millimeter teardrop bead. All of those are in the crystal clear color. We have another 6 by 8 millimeter bell flower in red, a 4 millimeter by cone bead in olive green and then just a little bugle bead that I found in my seed bead collection that matched that by cone. Then we have a one inch head pin and a two inch head pin. We also have a jump ring and a lobster clasp. Okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our four millimeter bicone in the olive green and we're going to make that into a little dangle because that's going to be our leaf that dangles off the side so we're just going to put it on our one inch head pin bend that at a 90 degree angle Cut it off at about a quarter of an inch. Take our round nose pliers again and roll that into our loop that we'll use to string it onto our head pin. I'm just going to take my chain nose pliers and make sure that everything is flat and straight and we'll just set that aside. Now take your two inch head pin and we're going to start building our vase. The first thing we're going to use is our six by eight millimeter bell flower with the pointed side going upward and that's going to be the base of our flower vase. Then for the body of the vase is our teardrop bead also pointed side up and then our smaller bellflower bead pointed side down and that creates the opening of our vase. Then just add your olive green bugle bead. These are usually just in varying sizes in with the seed beads and things. I measured this one it was about five millimeters long but that doesn't really matter just any little bugle bead that you've got in your seed bead collection. And then our red bell flower pointed side down. Sorry about that. First we have to add on our leaf to dangle off the side. And then goes our bell flower bead. And there you have your flower vase for Valentine's Day. So we just hold that all together kind of firmly but now this is very tall for a bead charm so it's going to be kind of delicate. Make sure that you don't bend that wire down in that portion. and Just bend it right at the top of your flower. 
and cut it down to about a quarter of an inch. And then carefully make our loop, being sure not to bend our flower vase. And kind of snug that loop against the flower to kind of hold all those beads in place. Okay, and then we're going to get our jump ring. Now you all know that I usually use my excess from the head pin to make my jump ring. But with such a tall charm. We didn't have enough excess to do that. So just add your jump ring onto there and then your lobster clasp and close it back up. And there you have your Valentine's Day flower vase. I think that's really, really cute. Let me know if you all like this craft. And if you have any other ideas of what you want to see. You all have always been good to give me feedback. And I really, really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.